Spring is the ideal season to visit Brechin Castle, with rhododendrons adding their stunning magnificence to the spectacular tree-lined drive. Brechin Castle sits perched on a wooded crag high above the River South Esk, on the site of a much older fortress that belonged to the Kings of Scotland. Lord and Lady Dalhousie extend a warm welcome to their home as the castle reopens its doors to the public from the 26th May until the 24th of June. Guided tours will be available at 2 and 3.15 p.m. each day. In the entrance hall, you'll see important family portraits, plus a portrait of Anne of Denmark, wife of King James I and VI. See the drawing room designed by John Keeble of London to house the 18th century Flemish tapestries which adorn the walls. The crests above the two fireplaces illustrate the mottos of the two families associated with Brechin Castle, the Ramsey and the Malls. After your tour of the castle, take a stroll through the walled garden and enjoy the beautiful surroundings of one of the finest private gardens in Scotland. The Brechin Castle Gardens are a real delight where every turn brings you a different vista and with a whole new variety of trees, shrubs or flowers to discover. The upper gardens contain areas of lawn, mature ornamental tree plantings, beds and borders and a superb shaped yew hedge. Once you've explored here, take the cherub-flanked flight of steps that draws you down the landscape slopes to pathways of colourful blooms and foliage that make the walled garden quite magnificent, particularly in spring. Then follow the wooded paths, where you're bound to meet some of the garden residents. The castle and castle gardens are open for a limited period, so don't miss this opportunity to come and see them for yourself. Because we're sure you'll like what you see in the castle gardens, we've stocked examples of similar plants at nearby Brechin Castle Garden Centre. Plants like rhododendrons, acers, magnolia and dicentra. Whilst you're here, visit Glenesk Retreat Visitor Centre with its folk museum that tells the story of Glenesk folk and where your children can dress up and have fun in the old school room. For research on Glenesk, look into our local history rooms. Then take a seat in the tea room. We have refreshments and cakes, homemade hot and cold food, traditional high teas, and the last Friday and Saturday of each month, evening meals from 6 till 8 p.m. We can also offer conference facilities, including refreshments and meals. But before you leave, look round our gift shop that stocks local produce and locally produced gifts. Brechin Castle and Gardens, Brechin Castle Garden Centre and Glenesk Retreat Visitor Centre. Places worth seeing this spring.